Hey guys, it's Julie. Today we're going to be making a homemade pesticide. A lot of people have asked me about my roses and how I do the rose infused oil, but one of the things that I have to do in the spring is try to kill some of those caterpillars. Because I use my roses for food and also infusions and teas and things like that, I don't really use any uh, store-bought pesticides. So a gentleman gave me a recipe, and I kind of tweaked it a little bit, for some of the homegrown things that you can try. It's mainly food-based items that not so much kill the bugs, it irritates them so they stay away from your plants. So we're gonna get started. At the beginning of the video, it will show how it looks in the jar. Because I'm getting ready to use it today, I've already, I've already had to decant it. So I'm gonna show you some of the things. We're gonna pan down. <laughs> well, in here, I already have whole black peppercorns. We're going to stay on the bowl. Whole black peppercorns. You can kind of see the peppercorns in there. It actually smells like a nice spicy salsa. We also have garlic. Just garlic. I picked this up at Big Lots because this is something I'm going to use outside. I don't want to use gourmet variety or even something that I'm really going to eat a lot of. This is just chopped dehydrated garlic. We're going to use tons of cayenne pepper. I also have chopped onions in here and we're going to put some lavender buds. We had a lot of red pepper flakes. Because I do not have more red pepper flakes, I'm going to reuse these because I found that I can get two really good uses out of this infusion. And once we're done, we spray it all over the plants, around the plants. It doesn't harm the plants in any way, but it does keep the bugs off. Let me show you. It was in this jar, and I let it uh, steep after I put boiling hot water in it for about three days to a week but in this case I did it for three days because I've got to spray my roses the bugs are tearing them up and once it is done it's kind of like almost a thick hot sauce or a thick type of salsa and I'll dilute that in my let me get my spray bottle I'll dilute that in a spray bottle and spray everywhere that I need to and you need the reason I have on gloves also is because it has so many caustic things like the red pepper flakes and the cayenne pepper I don't want to accidentally, like last time, get this stuff into my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the jar. I've already told you the ingredients, and I'll try to remember to list those because you can use these uh, herbs and spices twice. Man, that smells so good, so very good. We'll get it all back in the jar. You can kind of see the pepper flakes. They will give off their own oil. The garlic will give off a substance. Some of it disrupts the life cycle of the bugs, and some of it just irritates them, and they just stay away from your plant. So I'm, you can use neem oil, which is a good alternative. I have neem oil, but I do not want it on the roses. Uh, I found that this is uh, something that has worked well so far, so I'm sticking with what I, what I know. We'll get that all in in just a second. We, oh, we, feel, we spilled a few of the peppercorns, but that's all right. You get everything back in the jar. This is a simple one, two, three. Mainly the hot pepper flakes, the black pepper, and the uh, lavender that I'm going to put in. Let me sit this over to the side. It's something that's going to be the main substance that helps it to stick to the plant. We already got the black peppercorns, the whole black peppercorns, the garlic, the cayenne pepper, and the red pepper flakes in there. And this is your end product. We're also going to put some lavender in here. Oh, that man, that smells so good. This is something that works really well for sachets in your linen closet. We always thought our grannies did this just because everything smells so good, but it also helps to keep the bugs away. I'll put, this is uh, not a science to it, just what you want. I'll put two tablespoons of that. And we're going to pour maybe about a tablespoon or two of oil. The oil is what helps it to stick to the plants later on. Okay, let me move some of this. We have our jar packed with all the things that we want in there. Now we're going to get some boiling hot water. Let me turn this fire off. There we go. Let me get my glove because that's hot. There we go. And we're just going to fill it up with the boiling hot water. Put your cap on. Give it a good shake. 
I usually shake this about once a day and you'll see that this looks exactly like the picture at the beginning of the video. But we'll sit this over to the side because that has to uh, infuse and we're going to put the rest of it in our bottle because I've got to go out. I've got about 9,000 caterpillars all over my roses as we speak. But I wanted to show you some of the different things that you could do in your kitchen besides make hair things. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I get my measurements right. There we go. And that that I have left over, I will put in a jar and put it to the side. Let, let me pause for just a, a second. A little bit of water in there. Give it a good shake. And you're ready to go out and spray your plants. You'll kind of see that the oil sticks a little bit to the plastic, and that's okay. I shake it ever so often while I'm using it. You can not only spray your outside plants, you can do this with your indoor plants. I even spray my patio furniture because we have cats and dogs that kind of run around the neighborhood at times because they do not want this to get on the pad of their feet. Once they get that oil on there and it kind of irritates it a little bit, they usually will stay off your patio furniture. So don't forget your gloves, ladies, and don't get this in your eyes like I did. Oh, man, that stuff burns me up. But uh, I got to go fight the bugs, and thank you, and I hope you like it. See you later. Bye-bye.